King Jack, which is um, this sort of Sundancey film directed by, written and directed by Felix Thompson. Um, it's very, very Sundance. Uh, what Sundance that, what that, well, it's a Sundancey film. Okay, so sort of independent, uh, set in a small town, coming of age story, a lot of kind of magic hour beauty amidst the kind of the, the, the rough edges of the surrounding, a coming of age tale about uh, this uh, adolescent who is um, uh, played by Charlie Plummer, actually very, very good. He's basically stuck in a town with his older brother and his mother, and he's been entrusted with the care of his younger cousin, which he doesn't want to look after. But he is also facing bullying from this older uh, neighbour who is it's sort of really horrendous bully. And what the film is about is about him discovering who he is and him standing up for himself and him also sort of forming a, a bond because he's very isolated at the beginning. There's a lot of bravado behind it. You can see these kind of levels of uncertainty. What I like about the film very much is it's not doing anything particularly original. I mean, we have seen this sort of thing before and to some extent uh, it looks back to the early work of David Gordon Green, I think. However, what I liked about it was that it is done very well. Charlie Plummer is really terrific in the central role. So, the, so you know, you understand his character, you, you, you feel sympathy for him, you feel engaged with him, an awful lot of it is to do with him. He reminded me to some extent of a sort of young Leonardo DiCaprio. And I don't, I mean, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio when he was, I remember the first time, I think the first film I saw him in was What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Anyway, a, a really sort of uh, magnetic central performance. And... This sort of indie inflection, which to some extent can sometimes feel a little bit contrived, but was done rather nicely here. The way in which the music plays off the uh, the images, I said a lot of that kind of that magic hour, melancholia, modern nostalgia. As I said, it's not it's not a film that you're going to look at and think this is something I haven't seen before. But what's impressive about it is that it's working with fairly familiar tropes but it's doing them in a way which seems to be sort of touching and heartfelt. And I have to say, in a week in which there are many movies out that really haven't touched me at all, um, it was nice to see something that looked like it was made with heart and soul, that looked like it was made by people who, who actually were bothered about and cared about the material. So not groundbreaking by any means, but King Jack, certainly if, if, if you want something, you know, a melancholic, poignant, coming of age, indie-inflected, very sun then that's the film for you.